phenomenal. He was better, I think, than that than he'd ever, ever been. And uh, he, uh, he just glowed. I mean, he shone. He, he hurt himself a few times because it's, it's harder, you know, to do a full extension kick and stop short of hitting the person. I mean, so he would have to stop himself. And that sometimes, you know, he, he injured himself a few times, not hurting other people. But he had his team of, uh, of sort of stunt guys that worked with him, and they were wonderful. I mean, they really, you know, and they reappear over and over again in different outfits and <laughs> whatever, but they were just so good. It is the greatest martial art film ever made, and of course because of Bruce Lee, but it was, it was more than Bruce Lee. This was a film that just came together which may not never, uh, uh, you may not never see a film like this again because of all the ingredients, Bob Wall, John Saxon, myself, Anna Capri, all the ingredients were there. This black guy, this white guy, this oriental guy, the script, the directors, everything came together. And this, this is why this was a great film because of all the ingredients, not just Bruce Lee, of course Bruce Lee, but all the ingredients that came together on this film made it a great film. signed to do it and at the last minute gave us such problems in terms of his requirements that it, we just couldn't do it and we ran out and found Jim who was one, you know again was wonderful I was walking around the studios and all of a sudden uh, two guys pulled up uh, in a Mercedes and, uh, and you know they, all, they, and they jumped out of the car it was Raymond Chow and Bruce Lee so Bruce came running up to me man just like he knew me from all his life, you know, I never met this guy before in my life. He was so he was really he was really nice. He just came up and made me feel very welcome. I said, man, this is a great guy, you know. And uh, Bruce and I, from that point on, we really hit it off. Bruce and I really, really hit it off. Been practicing, huh? <laughs> days of shooting were really amazing because you know Bruce wouldn't come out I mean Bruce did everything to avoid starting he just uh, he had uh, this went wrong or he was stiff or he just wanted to do some thinking and I mean and we finally started shooting without him and you know, we just shot road shots and just because we had a unit there we were ready to go and he finally came in the very first scene we shot is the scene where he he's in his room and Anna Capri parades in all these girls for him to pick a girl. Because we figured it would be the easiest scene, he didn't have to move. And he was physically, he was a wreck. I mean, he was, if you look at the scene carefully, I mean, you can see his, his mouth is trembling. I mean, he was just so anxious and nervous. Not that he wasn't good, but he was, he, it was important for him. This was his first starring English language. I mean, this is, you know, everything that he was hoping for it to be. You must attend the morning ritual in uniform. Outside. The way my instructor trained me, I took private lessons from this acting instructor here in Los Angeles. And uh, he trained me to, to play this part like Muhammad Ali, cocky, arrogant, you know? And I, you know, most people might, they might think that's really me, you know, in real life. Uh, but he had me playing it like real cocky, real arrogant, you know? And so it was fun. I enjoyed it. <laughs> <laughs> making a terrific action piece. We had no idea it would, it, would, it would catch on the way it did. 
And we, you know, we brought back these sound effects which everybody uses now, what they used in the Chinese films. I mean, they, you know, there's the whoosh, with the, you know, I mean, totally fanciful, you know. You know, the hits where, you know, you'd hit a melon with a hammer, you know, and you'd get that thunk, you know, all wonderful things. We brought back a whole library of those sounds and also, you know, how they did them. And, uh, the sound effects people here rose to the occasion. And, every minute of it. I'm a, I mean, he was in heaven. It was just a joy to watch him. And he was perfectionist. I mean, you know, he just... And fortunately, Bob Klaus, the director, you know, had a sense of action. I mean, he, they had a wonderful uh, relationship in terms of how to film the things that were virtually mostly all staged by Bruce. As far as Bruce Lee is concerned, the martial arts world will remember Bruce Lee through his martial arts skills, his incredible skills, and also through his film work. But the general public, non-martial artists, will remember Bruce Lee more than likely as the great martial art film star. <laughs> for this thing he had a, a one inch hit he would do and i mean you could stand there and brace yourself and he would literally move his hand one inch and send you across the room and unbelievable strength i mean control i mean just brilliant physically and very happy that Warner Home Video is releasing Enter the Dragon on video so that the younger generation will be able to see it. They will be able to see a master at work. Ah!